What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Regular Ja. I'm here with Mr. Organic Money himself. What's up? What's up? What's going on? You got an entre- entrepreneur, a fa- uh, father, yeah, investor. Uh-huh. I don't know how you, we wear a lot of hats, man. Yeah, Health yeah. guru, financial guru. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just a realist, man. That's it. You know, I just try to put us up on game, man. I see something coming. I want our people to know. You yeah. already know it. So if y'all don't know, we got Mr. Jay Whitaker himself here. Yeah, man. I appreciate I mean, that. Appreciate that. So yeah, man. So let's 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 jump straight into it, man. So um, mm-hmm. what is organic money? Organic money is a movement I started, man. It's, it's organic money is basically physical gold and silver. Okay. Right. Um, I had did some research and I was uh got to study and you know as mm-hmm. far as economics and stuff. Uh, this was back in two thousand, like right after the crisis had happened. And uh, I wasn't even though I was in the crisis, I, I wasn't aware that we was days away from banks going bankrupt. Yeah. So, um, like I used to leave work. I was a cost analyst working in the finance department. So, you know, I was dealing with numbers. So, I knew that wasn't it for me. You yeah. Know? So I, I I went to the library. I just started reading. I ain't never read before. You know, like we don't read. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I did. I went to college. I graduated. I, yeah. You want to hide something from yeah. a nigga? Put it, Put in, it a in a book. You know what I'm saying? That's that's true. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the thing is, they don't teach us to to find books we're interested in. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't care about no nonfiction book. Man, I don't care about no fiction books. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to know the real. Like, yeah. Harry Potter is not gonna help a nigga. Well, Harry who? It, it's would, not gonna it's not gonna make me rich. And that book, I, it's, it's only gonna I make the publisher rich. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying like <laughs> for sure. We gotta tell our kids to find stuff they're interested in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so basically, that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Every question I had. About anything I want to know, real estate, mm-hmm. stock market, everything, I wrote it down. Yeah. Right? And then what I did, I went to go find the top five books in that in that genre. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In the world, and then I just read them. You know okay. what I'm saying? And that's when my that's when my my switch started started flickering. You know what I'm saying? So basically, long story short, I found out that our dollar was dying, and like nobody was talking about it. Yeah. You know, so I had a problem with that. So that's that's what made me birth. <laughs> The movement organic money, you know, yeah. and organic money is basically us leaving the dollar, going to hard assets that's going to transition our wealth. Yeah. So a lot of people thought it was like some some street some street shit when when they first yeah. heard it, right? Organic money. Yeah, I mean it's so I call it the OG of money, right? So yeah. so people don't realize like it's been over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of currencies that come and gone, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and no currency has ever lasted the test of time, but. The OG money has, which is gold and gold silver. And silver. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's they, really a double entendre. It is for organic sure. and OG because OG is, is the original source of currency. Okay, I, I put it all <laughs> together, man. You know, I and that's the thing I wanted to speak on too. Like a lot of real, like you no, know, like a lot of people like us. Like I, I didn't want to talk about this, bro. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying like it's just it. Out people know me for you know what I'm saying just being Jay having a good time, but like yeah. this was like something that was burning on the inside of me. Like for I, sure, I, you know what I'm saying. It was something I had to do. Like you know what I'm saying, so I feel like it's, it's a it's, it's a pur- it's purpose driven, and you know I, basically I'm coming to find out I'm a teacher at heart. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My God, my shout out to Rhonda Barnes. <laughs> you know what I mean? She always told me I was a teacher. You know what I'm saying? I never believed it, but yeah, that's basically what it boils down. Sometimes to. people see stuff in you that you don't see initially. Oh yeah, like, oh yeah. Sometimes you got to Sometimes it got to get called upon you, or it, it got to something, and you got to spark. Yeah, I, look, for I tell you that to have kids. that realization. I tell it to my kids, man. Whatever, whatever, gets, whatever makes you feel most alive. That's your drive. That's what you want to. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, nah. That's that's dope. I, I like the way you flipped that though. Like yeah. cause it's like yeah. so um do you feel cause you know, gold and silver still, like if you mm-hmm. like look at the commercials and stuff, yeah. like they still it's still going up. So it's still it's not yeah. not only is it holding its worth, it's actually it's yeah. actually elevating. It's actually inflating with everything else. That's a great question. So opposed to So you know, my whole thing at first. <laughs> You know, like I already knew we, we wasn't gonna be at the dollar, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why I was pushing us. Like, look, we gotta buy hard assets like gold and silver. You know what I'm saying? Then crypto was came out, and I'm like, mm, I don't really get this thing. You yeah, know, I'm reading about it. I'm I'm doing my research. I'm just like, ah, you know. So I really didn't like it at first, but you know, I knew that gold and silver had a problem. The government don't like gold and silver because you can't tax it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then also, this has come to be found out true, and I've been saying this for years that they was manipulating the price of gold and silver. Sure. And now you got cases that they have lawsuits they had to pay out because they had emails from big banks like Wells Fargo, top mm-hmm. five banks in the United States. Mm-hmm. They are uh, uh, coming together, uh, uh, reducing the price of gold and silver by all buying at a certain time. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand that. Like, if I go buy something at a certain, like TVs, right? Mm -hmm. TVs was thousand dollars at first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But everybody going to buy and the price reduce. Same thing with stocks. If everybody going in to buy the stock at the same time, it's gonna reduce the price. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that's what they basically did with gold and silver. They manipulated the price of gold and silver. And that's when I kind of like got my gears turned. I'm like, yo, silver and gold, they're not budging this year. Like percentage wise, it's, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. So, you know, I started investing in crypto in 2017. You know, even when I didn't like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That, that, that helped me uh, be invested to want to learn more. You know what I'm saying? And I was seeing the returns. I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> gold and silver not doing these numbers. You know, just like, just, just like we said earlier, like, you don't start everything in a straight line. Like, nothing yeah. in the world is in a straight line. Zigzag, zig. You know what That's I'm saying? It. So, so, Okay, boom. I'm going to go to crypto. I double back for the savings for gold and silver. Mm -hmm. So that's like now I'm big on crypto because I think that's going to be um, the vehicle that we're going to go to okay. after the U.S. dollar. Okay. So um, let's talk about that, though. So the, the dollar, um, mm -hmm. you know, the dollar collapsing and everything. So yeah. what, do you, what do you feel like the future of the American dollar Man, is? Because wondering... it's still the centralized dollar yeah. for the most part. Mm -hmm. But if it collapses, like, you know, what do you think with... How do you think that will offset everything everywhere else in the world I mean, and us? We're seeing it right now. Okay. Right? I mean, I've been warned about inflation on my page for I don't know how many years. You know what I'm saying? I've been breaking down the term. Where, I remember when people was like, was. they don't know when to hear that. Don't yeah. nobody want to hear that shit because it, it was so new. Motherfuckers was getting money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they didn't, you know. They was like, you know, because then I had people that was in business, like even during the pandemic. They're like, gee, um, these, these loans coming out, should I get it? I said, hell, hell yeah, you should get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? All this money going to still be floating. Yeah. So 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 you better get yours while you can because inflation might go through the roof. And we seeing that now. And look at that now. Like I, Eggs I, is $7. Man, listen, man. I, <laughs> I just keep it a buck, man. Anything I say yeah. is, is, is is not out of malice. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Sometimes it's the, it's the real truth. And everybody ain't real, so everybody can't stomach real shit. Yeah. You know? And you know, understanding is not something that everybody grasps to. So, like, everybody's perception of things is different. So, you know, you can tell somebody something, but until they want to see it. Yeah. Especially if it's something That's that they, tough for me, bro. That That's they tough don't want to hear. That's why I got to... Like, you telling people to invest, and they like, man, I don't know, man, but these, these yeah. motherfucking J's... I know that stock is two hundred dollars, but these J's is too. These J's gonna get me. Uh, you know, so we want instant gratification. That's, that's what we want our people. Like we don't want to wait. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We want to get rich quick scheme now. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. The fact of the matter is that that's not how it works. You get what I'm saying. Um, but I mean, anything worthwhile takes sacrifice, man. For sure. That's why it's a lot of athletes that are successful in life because we learn skill sets that 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 took that helped us in life. Mm -hmm. Like if you play football. It won't no end of summer beaches, beach parties you going to. You know what I'm saying? Nah. You know how everybody go to the beach and something. No, nah, you miss all those. Miss the end of the year cookouts. Yeah. All of those. You got two of day practice. We back to training. We back yeah. to training. Then you play basketball. Ain't no ain't no Thanksgiving. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If the family go out of town, sorry, you got to stay home. Yeah, we got a game. Christmas, same thing. We, so we got games. Yeah. Anything worthwhile takes sacrifice. That's why I was telling people this Christmas too, like, stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah. Like, this this is one of them days. This is one of them bad times we in. It's, sure. it's, it's, time, to, it's time to bog down. And get to some to, to some real uh, uh, ideas and get to some yeah. investing so we can we can last the test of time because we about to go through this financial storm that people are not ready for and people yeah. feeling it now. And 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 one thing I do know that you know financial storms and stuff like that will cause mayhem. We seen that with when COVID first hit and whoa, motherfuckers whoa, whoa, whoa. was running to the. What happened when everybody got them checks? How, how, how was how was the, how was the violence then? <laughs> Everybody had chains on. Oh yeah. Everybody popping bottles. You saw Everybody no robberies. Had time. It was no Zero. robberies. No violence no going on. I ain't gonna say no murders, but it was okay. Yeah, look, it, it, but, but it was personal know, shit. It wasn't over money though. It, it wasn't it, like it robberies wasn't going wrong right now. It wasn't like it is right now. Yeah. The wolves is out. People yeah. are people are hungry. Yeah. You know. And and like I said to that too, man. Like they they gotta find their way with that, man, because. It's, it's so many ways to get money right now, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You you just gotta you just gotta sit down and, and tap in with self, man. A lot of our yeah. answers be within ourselves. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think people behind a lot of anxiety and stuff too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you you everybody got a got a got a purpose. You got a job yeah. to do, right? Some people run from their calling. You know what I'm saying? And and they know what they're supposed to be doing. And they run from it. Definitely. What Nip say? Find your purpose or you wasting air. You wasting air. Fuck it though, y'all niggas, niggas scared. scared. Like you know what I'm saying? Gems. But yeah, I mean that's. That's the thing though. Some people don't like. Some people that know their purpose, but they'll feel like they gotta fit into somebody else's shit, or they see something that worked for somebody else. But 
one thing I realized, Bill Gates ain't in the NBA. So he 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 figured out what worked for him. He didn't go join it back. He couldn't play ball, so he had to figure that out. LeBron ain't in the NFL. He, everybody has their own purpose. Like everybody has their own lane. Everybody has their thing. So are you trying to chase something because you like, oh man, he went and got rich doing this. And then you go do that, and it's like, damn, this shit ain't working for me. This yeah. shit, this shit don't work. No, it don't work yeah. for you. Yeah. Like you gotta find, like, that's my thing. I feel like people should find their purpose and their passion yeah. and find a way to monetize off Ooh. of that. That's it right there. That's it. Find something you'll do for free. Yeah. And then that's And find that's, a way to make it. money doing it. Exactly. exactly. So it's not that hard. Like, yo, so I was talking to my cousin and mm-hmm. um I was telling him, like, yo, if you think about it, every single thing that we have in our, in the world was somebody's idea. For sure. This couch. Somebody had to think of this one day. Yeah. These microphones, somebody yeah. had to think. This. Yeah. Somebody yeah. had to yeah. think, like, I'm gonna cut yeah. this tree down. I'm gonna find a way to put ink on it. For sure. The ink pen. Like if you look, if you ride down the street, everything was somebody's idea. Every business, a gas station, the food lion, you know, whatever super center, thrift shop, everything is somebody's idea. The hat you went, everything all, is an idea. And everybody's making money off of these ideas. You just gotta find your idea and Yeah, and get to it. And then you know, it's like you said earlier, like I, that was a good point. Like, because they're around certain people that won't allow them to grow. Yeah. You gotta get from around them people, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you can't be who you are around who you with. Definitely. You need to quit, man. You need to go somewhere else. Yeah. So you know if you can't change the conversations, change who you had the conversations with. Ooh, That's it. Bar. Like, if you can't change the conversations, change who you having with. I it's... agree. I agree. And, you know, it, sometimes that can even be family members, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you outgrow people. Like, we here to evolve. Definitely. Some people don't want to. You got to get from around them. Yeah. You know, don't, don't shrink yourself to, to fit in with them. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? and not to say it, but, you know, family sometimes is the worst. Not yeah. in a bad way. It's just because they don't know no other way. They don't know They don't know what you what you have in you. Yeah. So They don't know your potential. That's it. So, yeah. like Ho said, they project their fears on you. Ooh. You can't. You can't do that. Yeah. How you gonna? I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. You just because you can't do it doesn't mean it can't be done. Facts. I can do it. Yeah, that's that's, that's all true, man. That's why I tell people like, it, it's all about you, man. What would never say to you know what I'm saying? Do you want to be at, at war with yourself and at peace with the world? Yeah. Or at peace with yourself and at, at war, war with the world. world. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are doing the opposite. You know what I'm saying? And because they're making somebody else feel better, or because this is what everybody's doing, mm-hmm. this is what everybody likes. Yeah. No, man. That's why. That's why it's you know. There's a lot of cowards out here, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just, just keep it keep it funky. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like everybody ain't, you know, they, they, they talk tough, man, but they, they they just they ain't not doing the right things. No, that's you know that's a, that's the truth. Yeah. And and cowardice ain't just the streets. Exactly. That's part of it. But right. it, it ain't just the streets. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking a about a person that leads you to destruction is a coward. Especially Ooh. if they know. Exactly. If they know that they leading you to destruction, like that's that's cowardice in itself. Yeah, I I agree. You know, I, I think I think we just a lot of the answers that we need. Are already within ourselves, you know. What sure. I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, a, a book might reiterate something we already know. It might mm-hmm. just click for us better. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we just gotta tap in more. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm segue that into this next question. So, yeah. what is the importance of financial literacy in the black community? Ooh, we need it, bro. So it's just so much stuff that I didn't have. Like I'm learning on my own. That I'm like, yo, I gotta get this to everybody. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just like. It's not taught. Like, even when you go to school, bro, I, I, I went to Virginia State, mm-hmm. shot to VSU, you know what I'm saying? Uh, got my accounting degree with construction finance. But I didn't know nothing about my own finances. I ain't know, like, I'm a spender, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I had to figure out, I got to spend stuff on things that's going to make me more money. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's all about, it's all about stuff like that. Like, find out what an asset is. Assets basically mm-hmm. something that's making you money. Like Rich Dad Poor Dad said, liability is something to take money away from you. <laughs> that was definitely you know one saying? of my questions. But we yeah. go tap, we go tap yeah. deep love, into that I though. Love, we I go... love Robert Kiyosaki. Yeah. That, that was one of the books that gave me that. Ooh. Yeah, you Rich Dad Poor Dad. I think actually you Much put me read. on to that in, in like 2015 yeah. or something like that. Like, That's yeah, what I do man. I try, I try to, yeah. I try to spread love. But I think I seen you. You don't know you put me on. I think I seen you talking about it, and right. I, 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 I think I ran to Barnes and Noble and was like, let me see what this. I started What's reading. I was like, oh yeah, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and spend this. The book is ill. Yeah, it is. Ill. I mean, it helped. It helped me. It helped me so much because at that time, like, I didn't even know I had. I need to rethinking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy when, like, that's that's why I love being a realist because, like, once 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 somebody tell me something, like, mm-hmm. I can always take the criticism. For you sure. know what I'm saying? But a lot of people can't do that. But it's like once I know something or somebody tell me something and it checks out to be right, I can't go back. Yeah. To what I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so when he was dropping them jewels in the book, man. It like 
helped transform my whole thinking, man. And I, and I spent thousands of dollars on his courses, man. And that really helped me tap in to to, to get to where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that financial literacy is definitely top tier. We need to know it more especially yeah. especially now just the age of information everybody oh, has age of knowledge everybody yeah. has this come on and man. they don't realize it ain't just a phone and look y'all, it ain't just social media this is a laptop no that's it's, it's, this it's, is this is a whole computer it's a brain it's, it's nothing that you cannot find on this right here man we it's, it's 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 so much it's so easy to find information now too man like and that's why i tell people like it's no, it's no we don't People don't gotta sell no more. You don't gotta sell dope no more, man. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people. That shit like raking leaves in the winter now. You know, you got a lot of young boys doing scamming now. Okay. They they, they, they leaving the dope though. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's so many ways to make money on this internet. That's gonna close up soon. Oh yeah. Once once they once the the, uh, government hackers and shit figure out how to gap that up, because they combating it every day. Hey, I don't the scammers going on. They went from the swipes to the chips, you know, on the cards, and then they're gonna go from the chips to the tap. So now they they they're gonna keep figuring out ways. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. So. They are, they are. But you know, it's like I said, like I mean, you can fake me out, you can fake yeah. the police out, you can't fake the universe out. So nah, man, you can't. And the day you gotta check in. Yeah, and and even with that, like you know, I ain't you know if you doing that, if you if you moving on the what, as Wallo say the opposite side of the law. Yeah. At least take that money and do something with it. Yeah. Right. To right. to to not have to do that no more. Right, you know what I'm saying. So right. like. If you is scamming, if you is selling dope, whatever the case is, put some put some money to the side and, and start investing I, that in in it, something. You know that's why that's why financial literacy is so important too, man. Because we do a lot of opposite things that we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They say you want to be rich, do what the rich do. Yeah. The rich don't go buy a pair of shoes there twice a month and say they broke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you got fresh pair of J's on, but you swear you ain't got no money to invest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like my thing right now though, Ja, is that. Investing is no longer an option. It's a necessity. Yeah. And it's due to the fact that the dollar is deteriorating. Yeah. What I mean by that is that if we don't invest now, we're not going to have nothing, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we don't have no assets that we're, we're accumulating, uh, 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 things that we're investing in, we're not going to have any money just working this job because inflation is, is going up so high that your job is basically going to be worthless because yeah. the money you're making ain't going to be able to pay the bills. That's so then a fact. What? And then when they raise what they raise minimum wage, they have to to something crazy. Yeah. But then what happened? A month later, all the prices on everything, everything went up. Went rent went up. The, your groceries went up. Average, everything. Average you can't even get a used car for five hundred no more. National average for rent is around two thousand dollars right yeah. now like, for a one bedroom. Most people ain't bringing home two thousand dollars a month. Come on, man. So it's 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 a, you know, it's a big it's a. You know, that's why I understand like what's going on. Like, man, a lot of people out here hurting, man. And and these people understand that. They understand the disparity gap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got the one percent with, with fifty percent, like other come on, man. Yeah. Like, and then we are what, one percent of the one percent? Yeah. So like we really don't hold no capital when it comes to wealth. <laughs> yeah. And and you know another thing we got too, like like we can do different things like life insurance policies, man. Mm-hmm. I definitely think we should need that, especially with these young boys out here wilding. Yeah. Your kid out here wilding, go get a policy on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't be trying, you know, don't. don't. Yeah. But see, a lot of people don't know. So a lot of people feel like the only way you can get a life insurance policy is through a job. Nah, you don't. Like, you people don't, don't know job. that you can really just, yeah. the same company, the only That's thing, good point. That's a good point, the same yeah. companies, you can go, yeah. you can call them and set it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can call these, you can, you can Google them on yeah. your phone. You can Google life insurance policy companies yeah. and call them. And get some information. You don't have to have a job. You just make them monthly payments. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And $20 if you, yeah. for, for a big policy payout. Like, come on, man. That's it. And, you know, if you got, like you said, $20 a month, go ahead and do that. And then, you know, if if you're not working like that or if your job don't get benefits, the government give you all kind of free yeah. health care and all kind of shit. But yeah. people just, they, they don't they don't go out there and try to find that. Yeah, that, see, that's the thing. Financial literacy, like, like understanding that this is a problem that need, need, needs to be addressed. Yeah, like, a lot of people just, you know, we we have our own like perception in our community, man. You know, we we always like like there's nothing wrong with looking nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at a cost. Yeah, if you like, look good, you feel good. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Like that's just us anyway. You know, we just yeah. we just vibrate. <laughs> we just vibrate in high that's frequency, man. You know, we just bop to a different beat. Step out, put that shit on. Like, yeah, hey, they gonna you know, see me. That's us. I love our people. Yeah, you know, but um. Nah, but we just gotta uh, the, the, the jig is up. Like they they tricked us a lot yeah. by making us think we need these things, man. You know that's why I love these uh, black designers coming out. Definitely, you know, everybody supporting black owned businesses. I love it. Definitely, I think that's mandatory. And I've you know, been on that. Yeah, we talking about money, right? We have to circulate that within our community. Yeah, you know, and these black owned businesses, y'all gotta keep 
circulating their money back into our community too. Definitely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because so, they say, what, the black dollar is in our community for what, 30 minutes? Like, like, I think like six hours. Like, six hours? Check. Yeah, something like that. Six all right. Hours. I might have I might have went a little yeah, too, yeah, little exactly, too radical, right, but yeah, I might have yeah. went a little too Last radical. Last time that I checked. Last time that I checked. <laughs> but yeah, but like even six hours, hours that's... That's yeah. nothing com- yeah, when, compared when it's to days and everything. Days, else, yeah. months, and sometimes years to other people because yeah. some people only spend in their community. But you know, they, 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 they. We, we had that going early 1900s, Black Wall Street. Yeah, that's, that's that. Like our people was doing this, this dollar in the community for circulating for years and years yeah. in, 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 in Black Wall Street until yeah. they bombed us. You but every you know every time we build up, they break us down, or they yeah. try to find a way to break us down. But those days is over, man. Oh yeah, they, they about to be in the minority out here. Oh yeah, and you know it's it's no excuse no more. Yeah, like I said, this yeah. like we keep saying, this is the age of this is the age of information, the, the age of knowledge. knowledge. Like yeah. you, like it's no, it's nothing that you can think that you can't type in and find out within seconds. Yeah, for sure. It's just a lot of people don't want to put that legwork in to do the research. Yeah, we got we got to apply ourselves, man. That's why, like people don't. Something people need to understand too is the hard truth is that you are at what you at you are at what you at today because of your decision that you made. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Yeah. Like wherever you at right now today in life is because of what you perceive and what you thought. That's it. You change your thinking, you change your life. You don't like where you at? Change the way you think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Change, change your scenery. Change what you're listening to. You know what I'm saying? It's another thing, like music, right? Mm-hmm. Like this music we listen to, like the type of beats, the 808s and all that, that was all like war war songs. Yeah. No wonder why we want to get amped. It's okay. Like I, in the gym, I'm 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 look. I'm yeah. putting, I'm putting that on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm putting on X, Tupac. I'm I'm on Lil Baby. Like you know yeah, what I'm saying? You, in the gym because you throwing up hundreds of pounds. So you yeah. trying to yeah well, you you. I, I'm, I'm 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 heavy on the push ups though. But I do a little yeah. weight, but you know heavy on the push ups and pull ups. But you know um, the thing is like it's, it's different times for di- different things like vibrations. So, so if your if your vibration is off and, and you're not where you want to be at. You know, maybe you need to change your frequency of music. Yeah. You know, four and thirty-two megahertz. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Tap in with self. Close your eyes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I said, all the answers in you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, I definitely agree. You know, yeah, I do music. So I mean, even with that, I'm I love music. So, mm-hmm. but if you think about it, music is literally the soundtrack to life. Because if you if you break up with your girl. What you going to put on? You going to put on some music love, that, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah. that, that try to cope with it? Yeah. Or like you said, if you if you riding to go go throw hands with somebody, yeah. you ain't going to throw no love music on. You yeah. throwing something to get that's going to get you in that mind frame. Yeah. Or if you, you know, if you- on that black youngster. You a hoe. <laughs> if you riding around yeah. smoking, you know what I'm saying, just getting your mind right, yeah. you going to throw on some, probably some nah, something laid back to try sure. to get that move. Oh, so man. music nah. is just, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, music is going to- for sure. And you know, like, Nas is a billionaire. Jay-Z is a billionaire. Like, yeah. I think the young guys need to take advantage of these messages they put in the yeah. music. Like, Off of investing. Nas put so much jewels in the, in the, in the music. I'm just yeah. like, y'all not catching these jewels? <laughs> Off like, of like, investing. Especially after Nip died. Like, Nip forever, man. I love yeah. Nip, man. You know what I'm saying? Since he died, like, I, I was, I was... I was I used to like Nas, but I'm like nah, I'm, I'm like yeah. I'm like tapped in now. Yeah, you know KD three, KD one, KD like man, yo, what Nas is doing right now for the past it hasn't even been two years yet. Dropping bombs for the past like eighteen months has been crazy. Man, his his music selection, man. I mean, he bringing Lil Durk and them in there. You know, he said, you know, like he the type of yeah. music he made, like Charlie Wilson, like it's yeah. just. 21, like, 21, like it, it's, I'm yeah. not beefing with you, youngster. Yeah. Let's come, let's do this song. Let's get this money together. Let's talk about that. Let's get this money together. That was man time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's that was get some this real money man time together. Shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? 21 had his, had his uh, views on what he thought about Nas. You know what I'm saying? And it was taken out of context. We're not going to get too yeah. deep into it. Yeah. yeah. Everybody got their own opinion, you know, but, you know. But, you know, Nas is a big dog. You know, so the way Nas handled that, of course. Man, that, that was man time. He did a song with that man. Yeah. And, I'm going to take Youngin under my arm. Come here. Come here. We going to, let's figure this out. That's some big boy shit, man. Get up for Nas, man. Yeah, definitely clap it up for him. like that's nice, you know because ellis how most people wanted to handle they wanted not to go in the studio fuck 21 let's yeah. do this little young nigga yeah, don't know man, nah oh, but that's man. what that's what the, the age gap that's why it's fucked up because that's what the a lot of the older rappers is doing and a lot of the young rappers of course they gonna come back too like well fuck you old head like communication, and then it's man. just gonna i think Nas did that shit the way that it was supposed to be done yeah communication you know what i'm saying that's, that's all it is and, and the way Nas handled that shit boss Definitely, Ball. like that's how you can. T- that's the difference between boys and men. So man, he's on. That's what and that has nothing to do time. with age because it's a lot of fifty year old boys running around. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm it's a lot of. Man. So it's the difference between a boy and a man. Nas handled that shit like a man should handle it. I I agree. I concur. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So definitely salute the Nas. Um, 
Yeah, so we were just talking about the gym and, you know, working out. So yeah. I know you you real big on health and wellness. Um, she Moss, black seed oil, Gotta all that, it. all that bladder rack, all that good stuff. Yeah. Put that good stuff in your body. So what made you make that transition from... Cause I I've been yeah. to cookouts with you growing up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know what I'm saying? We, yeah. Hey, look. You know what I went vegan too. My, my dad cooked on the grill every day that summer too. Man, I, I was uh-huh. being tested, man. So, like, yeah. All right. So basically, yeah. I, I remember went, I went vegan before almost you years start. Ago. I remember. Yeah. I, and I'm and I know your discipline because I remember yeah. we went to the Million Man March together. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. we we stopped at somewhere in the middle of fucking nowhere on the way back. Yeah. And my man's was like, I'm not eating. Cause yeah. ain't shit here. Like I'm not eating. They was yeah. like, yo, nah, they cook it with butter, they cook it with that. I'm yeah. not gonna fuck with it. Like yeah. Yeah, and you I really I, I can't play with it. Yeah, so so basically, man, like Dr. Sabi. Like I told yeah. you, like once I get put on something that's real, I thought he was cat. I'm like, man, you he said you, how you cure AIDS and the doctors ain't cure AIDS. Like this yeah. man herpes. I said, man, this dude is full of it. Yeah. So I started tapping in with him. I'm just like, okay, this man. Vegan. I'm like, man, I don't know about no vegan. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I love steak. I love yeah. Fried chicken. Come on, man. So that's what we know. It's what we grew yeah, up on. That's that's man. all we knew. And you know, like I eat steak because of Michael Joy. I'm, I'm gonna get to that after I finish. Okay. So you know, um, so I'm like, man, I'm gonna try it out, man. You know what I mean? So I tried it for like I think the, the year I had tried it. Monday was on like the end of March. It was going to April. Mm-hmm. So Monday was like on uh, it was two days before April was on a April first was on a, a Wednesday. Okay. So it was almost eight years ago. Eight years ago from this year. So first day, man, I think second day I ate a piece of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, man, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> and you know, I'm disciplined, bro. Like, yeah. I, I I don't like nobody that ain't really disciplined. I like, I think I think like when you working out, like it shows discipline. For like, sure. You know what I'm saying? So I always like to work out because it keeps my 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 head level. It's it's, it's a form of uh, stress relieving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it also you know it keeps you mentally and physically fit. Yeah, definitely. You and discipline is doing something when you don't feel like doing it. Exactly. Because you know it need to be done. Know Rather it you to be done. Yeah, I'm on this couch. I'm in this yeah, bed. This shit's so yeah. comfortable. It feel good, but you know you got to get up and do it. So you still get up my and do it. My thing can get churning when I'm working out. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. My thoughts and stuff are get, get going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Blood flow. So yeah. So you know, I did the Doc Savy joint, man. Like his diet was strict. So yeah. I, I go straight cold turkey, no alcohol. I quit. You no, know, I drink Henny. So yeah, I, I did no alcohol. I did no no meats. And I did a strict Doc Savy diet for like four straight months. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And I was just like, man, this ain't like after after like the first thirty days. Cause I was, I'm gonna do it for like a little bit, right? Thirty days. I think this felt so natural, bro. Cause yeah. like, like at first though, I was like, since I went so like dr- uh, dr- drastic with cutting everything off, like, mm-hmm. man, I just felt drained, yeah. sluggish. You know what I'm saying? I had a little slight headache. I don't think I was having enough water intake. Mm-hmm. Looking back on it. Um, and I, I didn't know what to eat. I'm spending hours in the grocery store reading the instructions on the back of the cart. Yeah. Everything in the world got <laughs> milk. And, and and eggs in it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I'm in a, I'm in a grocery store for hours. You know, old lady called me, like, wife called me, like, "What are you, doing? man? Stealing stuff?" Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that that was tough. You just know to mean? come home with four things, but it's just like four things. Yeah. Man, I'm eating salads. I know you can't go wrong with salads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so basically, Dr. Sabi, man, and then when, like I felt so alive, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it was a natural hi hat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I had made juices in the morning. It was just like a I had a different pep to my step. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just felt right. So like I told you, like once I once I learn something and it's right, I can't go back. Yeah. You know, so that's basically where that came from. Shout out to Dr. Sabi. And, you know, me and Dr. Sabi got the same exact birthday. Oh man, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like look, Styles, like, it's crazy because like even Styles P, he's a sag. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He got the juices for life. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a lot, a lot of stuff just aligns with yeah. you. And like I was saying earlier about about um Michael Jordan, right? I used to read his book. Like I was I read a book, I think it was I it might have been Middle school or something, mm-hmm. and he had came out of the book. He basically said what he ate before every game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I was heavy in football. I was heavy in sports at the time. One of the best running backs I know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, flight work. And then you know, like, so I'm reading about Jordan. He was like, for every game, he ate a steak. Yeah. And he said he ate steak because it made him more aggressive, mm. right? So then I'm doing research, right? So now when I'm when, I, when I'm doing my Doctor Savy, I think diet, I see where you're going. But go ahead, yeah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, I'm go doing ahead. Doctor Savy diet. I gotta read, bro. I can't just do something because somebody say do it. You know what I'm saying? It gotta connect. It, why? Why am I doing this? Like I tell people to question everything. That's what I do. Yeah. That's why I find a lot of answers to stuff because I question a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, why? Why do you say it's more make it more aggressive? I didn't understand why then. So I'm reading now, and I see like when you kill the animals, they can sense fear. Like mm-hmm. so, you got all that adrenaline going to their blood. 
So when you ingest, when you digest that that meat, you know all those hormones and those adrenaline they yes, come sir. in you. You get what I'm saying? That's why, like, even in the hood, man, we got all these bad foods around yes, the hood, sir. man. You know what I'm saying? That's like, we vibrate on that frequency. <laughs> Bro, I tell you this. If you go to a vegan restaurant, yo, go to my people's joint. Beyond Vegan Sale Food. Like, mm -hmm. first off, she needs to be shouted out because what she's doing for the community, especially the black community, because yes, she's putting that season on that thing, <laughs> she needs to be a pillar in our community. She needs to be shouted out. But she got food, bro. You sick. Like, food is basically a natural healer. Yeah. And she's, like, using a lot of Dr. Sabies, um... Um, uh, and foods mm -hmm. to heal people. You know what I'm saying? Like she got strict out of safety list, and and she just like cooked with seasoning. So um, and she also just opened up a sober bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, who don't need that in the black community? For sure. You know what I'm saying? So you know, shout out to her. Shout out to Beyond Vegan Sell Food. But yeah, but back to the uh, meat. So like eating that meat, man. What we eat, it, 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 the vibration and frequencies change. So even with her going to her restaurant, like, bro, you, the people that come there, the energy is different. Like you be talking to strangers all the time, mm -hmm. and, bro. Even when, you know I travel a lot, so yeah. even when I go out of town, the vegan restaurants like it's just natural conversations that happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because our our frequency is not on that lower level like everybody else is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, it is, and it's even so more so like um you know because I read a lot. You know I did it for a year. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you push me. Good. Yeah, you push me. I think it, the first 30 days I did it because you told me I couldn't. Well, you didn't tell me I couldn't, but you was like, I know you ain't about to. I know you not jumping in the challenge. I was like, hold on. You got to poke the bear sometime. You got to poke the bear All right, sometime. let me show this. And yeah. then I end up doing it for a year for the same reason. It was like, woo, woo. You know, yeah. I reverted back because, you know, uh -huh. on my own design, yeah, I started yeah. I started gaining weight because I started taking in more carbs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because gotcha. due to, you know, I work outside and all that. So I needed something to sit on me some more. So I'm eating more rice and potatoes, which mm -hmm. they're good for you, but in moderation. Like break anything. down the starch, though. See, people don't break yeah. down the sugar. So it's the starch. So potatoes, uh, rice, they all break, they all starch, yeah. which breaks down the sugar in your body. Yeah, and I was yeah. I was taking in more than I was burning off. Mm. Because like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm eating as much as I can so it can sit on me. But now mm. it's sitting on me and it's okay. staying on me. Gotcha. So, you know, yeah. I reverted back to pescatarianism. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Fish is, you know, it's a lifestyle more change, man. It's yeah, it definitely change. is. I just know, I just my thing is, bro, like I advocate for it because these people out here not telling you that food kills you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I did I posted the video. Cancer's high as high as as it's ever been now. Why? You know what I'm saying? But look at why? look at if you look at the back of the ingredients, why the fuck do we need trisodium phosphate in our cereal? Come on, man. It's they, paint thinner. Like, why do we need that? Stuff. They, got, they, got all this, <laughs> they got all this bad stuff in all our food, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got thousands of ingredients. If it's natural, why you got all these ingredients in your food? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, and we don't eat enough live food, man. Like, the majority of our shopping should be done in the produce section. Yeah. That's the live food. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got your fruit there. You got your vegetables there. Those are live Food. We are basically human plants. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we got melanin inst instead of chlorophyll. Yeah. So we just gotta tap in, man, just and give our give our bodies the right fuel they need. Yeah, because fuel is what it's for to energize you. Exactly. Like we man. not supposed to get the itis. Bro, you don't post you don't supposed to get get tired when you eat. Yeah. That means you might overeat. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of us in America, man, they 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 serve too big of a portion of food too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I find myself, you want to go to vegan restaurants. I, I never eat all my food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, I have portion control now. You yeah. know what I mean? Or, you know, some people, they get to that point where it's like, damn, it's it's too much to throw away, but it ain't enough to save. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to just go ahead and just finish all of it. But yeah, whole true. time, it's probably enough to save. See, it, it is. Just, it is. Yeah. It's just, yeah, man. I mean, it's just like, I think, I think people just got to, you know, um, just look into it a little more, man. Like, yeah. This is my thing too. Like I, I think doctors' jobs are gonna be in danger, and, and this is why because they're losing faith. People mm -hmm. are losing faith in them, right? And and it's like the the a lot of underlying issues come from what you put in your body as far as food. Yeah. Right. And these these doctors eat just as bad as we do. Yeah. So you you putting a band aid on something that you don't even really fully understand. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And even with the shot too, like you know, Fauci and them, they just they done killed that whole lot. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that that's well, all cap. Like it was, everybody it was too much contradiction. I didn't get the jab. That's yeah. I call it the jab because they yeah. was jabbing the shit. Yeah, I got yeah. it. I know, I know you didn't. <laughs> like I was, I was willing to, um, you know, when when you they were talking about that, the, that fell out on the field. What do you think happened to him? I think he has it. I think he got the. 
what not even just him and so, before I, before we go, just sh- shout out to him. shout out to Demar Hamlin. Shout like DeMar I'm Hamlin. glad shout he I'm glad he made it. Yeah. I'm glad he you know he pulled through. That yeah, was sure. that was for scary. Sure. Like I've never seen no shit like that before. Nah, but, I've seen you know injuries and I've seen, seen hits way harder than that. Bro. Yeah, I'm talking about like how does man get up? Yeah, you like I've saying? seen people pass out from heat exhaustion, but it's. When they did it, it was kind of like a, a lead up to it, like, yeah. "Oh shit, I don't, I don't yeah. feel right." Like, right, right. you you kind of see it about to happen, but, but for him to just get up and be good and just, like, come on, you know. But no, so I, I I've been seeing a lot of athletes, um, mm. you know, passing away young. Mm. Uh, not just him. Uh, damn, I forget his name. Let's talk about it. Um, another athlete that was in the NFL, he just passed away from heart. You know, uh, I think yeah, it might have uh, been from, from uh, Miami. He was he was at home though, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he had cardiac arrest, right? Heart failure, but he was like one of the biggest advocates of getting the, you know. And I'm not no I disrespect to his nah, family. I don't want his family. Nah, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Real, man. But we I'm just real. saying, you know, no no malice. I'm yeah, I'm noticing the pattern. You know what I'm saying? And if that's not it, soccer. I, you see yeah. how many people died in soccer? Yeah, a lot of people have been passing, and it's all been the same. What I say, the patterns, it's all been the same reasoning. Heart. Man, it's always it's all been people, the heart man. shit. Somebody need to check them people, man. Yeah. You know, I, I told my parents that too. You know, I I, I was 50-50. I got one, I lost one. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I mean, to, to, to the conversation. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it, it, it's tough to stomach, man. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody say, oh, well, you know, the government, we got vaccines before. Yo, this 2023, like this don't make sense what they're saying. Yeah. Did y'all see these side effects? Huh? Uh, uh blood clots. Yeah. Uh, herpes, uh, yeah. possible HIV. Like, yeah. like, come on, man, y'all. Nah, nah, it's, y'all putting it's crazy stuff in shit. It. And then you know, we didn't get to see no side effects because they didn't run no fucking trials on nobody. <laughs> so how we gonna out, so, how, no, how we gonna, gonna wait gonna to see side effects if 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 the shit came if, if it started hitting in March right. and the vaccine was out by fucking July? Peep this. Bill Gates left his job at Microsoft to do what? Yeah. He, he went to to to, to the COVID. Vaccine, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like everybody, like why did why did Bill Gates step down? Oh, we see why. It, yeah. was, it was a it was a, it was a money it was a money play now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But to to I mean, and he and he and he foretold it. He warned us years ago about the. <laughs> how can you even know about something like this happening unless yeah. it's planned? He he's literally on video. I don't know what year it is. It might have been like 2016, 2017, somewhere around there. And he was saying that America or the world is about to hit a pandemic. Mm-hmm. It's about to be a major. Disease or something is gonna go around, and it's gonna take a lot of people out, and we're not gonna be prepared for it. Yeah, and, and you know, what, what the part I ain't like, man, is that they force people like with jobs, even in the military. I had cousins, you know, people that work for the government. I talked to, yeah, you know, real cousins, like we, we had real conversations, man, and they was forced to get that joint. You know, what yeah. I'm saying didn't want to get it last minute, waited. Yeah. Then next, come January, oh, it's not mandatory no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, like. Like, like, come on, man. Like, after people, come and on, you know, man. in the fucked up thing, it, it, it fucked our communities up worse because a lot of a lot of us li- barely living check to check. They yeah. might be living yeah. check to three days before check. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? So it's like, for sure. I got kids. I can't afford to just Six lose my years. fucking job. Hey, they, they, I got three, four kids at home, or even if it's just one, like, I'm barely paying the rent. I lose my job. We out on the street. I I, I got to do it. Yeah. If I die... Some people really had the mentality, like, "Yo, if See, this shit, ki- if it do kill me, it kill me." At this least go. This is you know. This, this is where I. This is where I learned from investing, man. Like mm-hmm. even when the pandemic happened, I didn't have to go out and work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I had some investment. I, I I had a couple months so I can just chill. You know, what make saying? the money work for you. Exactly. So that 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 goes back to why financial literacy is so important. It is freedom. Mm-hmm. When you have the means to be able to do stuff like that, like you, you not forced to take this thing. Okay, yeah. Well, they're gonna fire me. Let them fire me. Then I'm not gonna quit. And they fire me. Maybe I got a lawsuit later on. If they if they don't stick to yeah. the guns. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you got some people that still made out because they they didn't get it, and now they got lawsuits pending. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's why you know we we just gotta stay tapped in as to what's going on, man. Like even with animals, how they say like how animals know a storm is coming. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They tapped in. So we gotta do the same thing, like. Tap yeah. in with self, like meditation and all that. I was gonna say, I, I mean, I, we are just as spiritually in tune with the fucking universe right. and the world as anything else. But like a lot of people, a lot of people, especially in our community, don't even know what grounding is. Yeah. Walk outside with your shoes off, let, feel the earth under your feet. Like they don't know, they yeah. don't know what and that our parents can do for the you. Opposite, bro. You know, you, don't you go outside spread, with no, without no goddamn get, shoes. You would yeah. get beat. You would get beat down. You go yeah. outside without shoes. Damn right. Like, you, you'll get glass in your feet. Your feet gonna get long. Like, yeah. Man, you getting ground. Like when you when you leave 
countries and go to different countries, different time zones, the mm-hmm. first thing you're supposed to do is take your shoes off and get grounded. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, I, one, I was in North Carolina. Um, it's like a tree. On a project, and uh, it was a full eclipse that happened. Mm-hmm. So I had took my shoes off. Bro, I'm talking about the ground felt so electrified. Yeah. Man. So next time, y'all think we joking about this grounded thing. Next time it's an eclipse or something, go outside, take your shoes off while the eclipse happens, and I and I guarantee you're going to feel that charge. Yeah, go in your front yard if you got, or if you're in the apartment building, go in the grass right yeah. outside your front yard. Just go stand in the grass for 10 minutes, yeah, see how different you feel. Oh, and that's another thing. I'm glad you pointed it out. Like, we are human plants, like I said earlier. Mm-hmm. We need sun. A lot of our black women lack vitamin D. Yeah. Like, we need to stop that. Like, we got free sun outside. Yeah. Get at least 10 minutes. It takes... I do what eight to ten minutes for the earth to hit, hit the, from the sun rays to hit the uh, earth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we need we need to get those new messages because our body receives messages from the sun. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we need to make sure we're getting that. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. That's what like even more so. That's why I don't like they like saving time. Mm-hmm. I hate this shit. Yeah, like so think about people who work nine to five. They get home, it's they dark. get off work five o'clock. It's dark as hot. Yeah, like you don't get you don't get time to stand, sit on your porch. They think about they think about uh, doing away with it coming up this year. I hope they do. Yeah, they, they, it was they was in talks about that too. Yeah, I hope they do. But yeah, so I mean, like you said grounding is important. Even if even if you just go to the beach, put your feet in the sand. Yeah. Even if you don't trust putting it in the grass, you know, we gotta take advantage of that beach more too, man. Like, yeah. I, like I, I I admit, like you know, I family went down there on a vacation like last last year. Just I'm like, hey man, we gotta come down here more. Yeah, you know, what it's because it's. It's here, so we yeah. don't we don't think about it. You know, the yeah. first thing we think about, man, I ain't going down to yeah, the There's yeah, too many exactly. niggas down there. Like yeah, I ain't man. niggas gonna get that and up. But we gotta take advantage of it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's peaceful, man. It's serenity, and you know, it's, it's a way to recharge too. Yeah. So yeah, like, in. I'm a cancer. I'm not super big on zodiac signs, mm-hmm. but the more I start like reading that shit, the more I realize that shit does play a part in certain things. Yeah. All right, um, so let's talk about that. So, so like the, the time you was born, right? The day you, uh, bro, I asked myself these questions. So yeah. I, I look at these research things. So the the month and and, and year you was born, they all have frequencies. Mm-hmm. So like right now we're in the Aquarian age, age, age of knowledge, but you know it might be what was it? it's Capricorn season. Yeah. So but you you born in the age of knowledge, so but you're a Capricorn. Mm-hmm. So you know you're gonna be uh, very inquisitive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're also gonna still be a Capricorn. You know uh, whatever their traits are. Yeah. You know, um, so, but that's that, yo, that shit goes deeper though, cause yo, yeah. like, like I said, the more I read and research, I'm not super into it. But mm-hmm. now I've been like within maybe the last few months, I've been reading. You did your life path number? Is the so I haven't done the life path number yet. Totem but rock. Go somebody, to rock. somebody did uh do my natal chart for me. Okay. You know what wow. I'm saying? I had to go to somebody I trust. I had yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? A, a female I trusted, and she she did that shit for me. And when I read that shit, I was like, yo, that's this is. When I tell bro, you, this it's you like line. somebody help like been following me around in my life and was you. like, bro, this is help you help you find out what your purpose is in life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why I like life path number. It basically tells you what your what, what your purpose is. Imagine that these young guys running around here who's purposeless, looking for purpose or some type of yeah. guidance. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's, what's my point of being here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, look at look up your life path number. You know what I mean? Tap tap into that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, there's so many books like. Uh, What's another book? It's another book. You gotta read this book too. Um, uh, the Three Magic Words. Okay, I ain't got nip, that one nip, yet. Nip, nip, talk about that one. I ain't got yeah, that you, one yet. You can look at it on YouTube. Yeah. Fire. I got Ways of the Superior Man. I got uh, of okay. course Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yeah. I got uh, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. I Rich got Man a, Babylon. I don't got that yet, so I'm gonna Rich throw that man in. Man Babylon is fire. That basically talks about the robbers, man. Like, you know, that that's the biggest Jew I got out of that book because like a lot of people like to rob people, right? But mm-hmm. they, they really they really not getting what they what they coming for because. You get him for his things, but this man got the formula. Yeah. So you have to rob him every day. Yeah. Because you don't got the formula. Still. Yeah. That's like so, going in the Pepsi plant and just stealing crates of Pepsi instead of going in the office and getting it. The- exactly. <laughs> getting the juice. How do you create yeah. this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are you you just taking the sodas? You for know sure. what I'm saying? It's bigger than that. So yeah, Richard Man Babylon is fire. Uh, it's a couple books, man, but it's man. So yeah, I'm a um. I'm, I'm gonna get a list of them for you. I'm gonna put them in the in the description at the bottom. Smooth, smooth. Like like your, the the five books that you recommend the most. So yeah. I'm 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 gonna put them down in the bottom so people can uh okay so people can get at them yeah, Jews from you. Poor that is definitely in the top five. I'm gonna definitely put uh, three magic words in the top five. Uh, contagious, that, that, contagion. I think is the name of the book. That, that was that was dope. It was basically like the children talking about the children horse on how you gotta deal with businesses. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, 
Quick Guy at the Golden Silver, uh, Mike Maloney. Oh, that book was fire. Um, tax Free Investing. That book was fire. I think the that dude's name, uh, Will Roy, he was a rich head for that too. Mm -hmm. That book was fire. Basically tell you about taxes. Like, like everybody was talking about Trump and how he got away with taxes. It's 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 way it's things you can do to to get away with not paying taxes. So the government can't control businesses around here, right? Yeah. But what it can do is say, look, our country need these businesses. I'm gonna give you a tax incentive. Mm -hmm. So if you start this business that we need in our country, then I'm gonna give you a tax break. You know, so yeah. that's that's the ways you gotta learn to move, man. See all the stuff in the books, though. Yeah, and I've been seeing yo, yo even more so like um farmland. Yeah. Like. Oh, man. If you go buy a chicken, your house is considered farmland now. The acre, the, I don't know if the acreage matters, so mm -hmm. I, I could be wrong with that. But I do know that if you have any kind of livestock, horse, uh, chickens, mm. um, cow, whatever the case, you can claim that on your taxes. Like you get a tax break for that mm. because you have livestock on your property. Yeah, that's, that's basically how the government works, though. That's because because if the government control all the business, they would be called mm. a fascism. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So they have to um, give these incentives out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. I mean, it's it's there for you. Yeah, yeah. It's just like you said, a lot of people just don't know. And yeah. a lot of people don't know that they want to know. Or they don't know where to start looking. I don't know. Like, they don't they don't even take the, in, the initiative to at least try to start figuring out what it is. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they're going to have to do a deep dive, man. Sometimes, you know, they can be doing too much. They got too much motion out here. Yeah. You know, keep them, keep them distracted. But, you know... Um, it's always one place to sit them down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you go behind that G-wall, you know, you got a lot of time to tap into yourself. Definitely. You know? And, and lot, I think a lot of our brothers, that's where they start. They love prayer and meditation at, too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you, you ain't got nothing else to do. Nothing you know else saying? to Everything do. Everything else slows down. Yeah. But it shouldn't have to take that for us to sit still. Like yeah. A lot of us, sometimes, we just need to sit still, and we'll get a lot more answers. Yeah. No, and that's, that's another thing. I'm glad you said that. Like, you know how many people, if... They put the effort mm -hmm. into what they did on the outside, on the legal. Th they would be billionaires. Yeah. Like, like the people in jail. That's the the jail and the cemetery has yeah. the most creative people in yeah. it, yeah. whose yeah. ideas will probably never get to see the light. I I, I see a transition, man. Because I had I got some cousins, I got some guys who came out of jail and they doing a thing, man. You know, what for I'm sure saying? They, they had a plan though. You for know sure, what I'm saying? like just because you just because you take a step back, man, don't mean you can't take ten forward. Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm saying? Like when you come and basically they had time to plan. That's basically all it is. They sat down. They had yeah. time to plan on what they wanted to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you plan and put your thing, your mind to the right stuff, and you and you and you see it all the way through. Yeah, man, just like just looking at them do it is 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 yeah. joyful for me, man. Yeah, definitely. That's like uh, trap. Uh, you know, Wall Street Trapper. He said like pretty much the people he was in jail with. He was like, yo, if he was like, dog, you know how rich y'all would be if y'all would have like this creative shit y'all doing? Y'all yeah. could take a fucking uh a toothbrush apart yeah. and take the battery out and take the tape cassette and you can make a he was like, yo, if you would have put that into like some legal shit, yeah. like you know where you would be now. Cause dog, you know how many people is engineers and don't know they're engineers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many people is I think just the best whatever and don't know that they're that? Cause they don't look at it like that. I think the best people are self-taught. <laughs> Like for sure, one of the guys I I I love right now, and I'm I'm following him closely is uh, Idris Sandu. I call him the Black Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. Like this dude, he is so forward thinking. That's how I, I think in the future, bro. I don't, you know, but so like yeah. he does the actual technology. Like this man taught himself how to code. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. At 11 years old, this man yeah. working a year later, he working for large tech companies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like self taught though, and he's he's doing he's the one to help Nipsey. Open the first ever smart store. Okay. You know oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I knew I heard the name. I was trying to. I was yeah, trying to. Yeah. Okay. So whatever he's doing on Wit, man, he got man, he got some stuff coming. So you know, like um, he got some NFT projects that I, that I'm into that he did. But man, he he's a forward thinker, and people need to start checking him out more. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm definitely tapping more into him because I do remember him and you know Nip yeah. talking about the STEM program that they was putting together and. Yeah. He, um, he you know, how they it. did the scanning with it, like how they did all of that. Oh, so how, the how, technology how music, with it. Yeah, man. That's scanning shirt with the music coming up there. I was fire. So forth. Thank you, man. Yeah. So. In your opinion, why do you, do you feel like more black people should get into tech? Yeah, I think it's technology for yeah, people who don't understand. We got to control the space, man. Like we using the space right now. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, you know, we got a black Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, but. We don't control it. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We have to get into that coding. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my son about that. You know, my son, he a freshman at a and mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he made you in the business and he's thinking about taking like a minor in tech. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, we need you in coding. You know what I'm saying? So we supposed to be starting like a little, a little interview session coming up soon. So I can just he can just like ask me questions about crypto and stuff like that. Cause a lot of his friends and stuff, they're into that type of space right now. Yeah. So man, technology is so vast. Like it's it's so crazy, like to the point where whether it be phones, cameras, it's everything is technology, bro. AI, do you see AI, bro? Yeah. Oh, the my deep God. fakes, you know what the deep fakes and all Artificial that is? Artificial intelligence, man. Bro. Like this thing, like they Yo, always the said tech jobs will be here forever. They just lied. Cause AI is here. AI, yeah. you can basically use AI for all right. Let me let me break down what AI is on a on a lame term for us. All right, shoes, right? Mm -hmm. People can't buy no shoes online because of bots. Yeah. A bot is basically uh, AI, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Artificial intelligence, you yeah. know what I'm saying? A, 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 a robot buying a shoe, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's programmed to put a bid in for a certain price at a certain size of shoe, whatever, mm -hmm. right? So, same thing with AI. Can you imagine like building a website like through AI? Yeah. Like, bro, websites can be made like this. Like, it's so, it's so many things. You don't things have to do nothing. Can, oh, you my just... God. <laughs> it's so many things you can do with, like, even. Uh, uh, downloading people like voice or information, yeah. So when they pass away, it can be stored in AI. Uh, yeah, and they can talk to you, so talk you can always you. talk to the like it's loved ones crazy. and shit. Yeah, I, I seen that they got um, they got websites and apps that like can write like you 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 write the gist of what yeah. you want to say, yeah. And that should write a whole, whole dissertation paragraph. for you if you need it. Pages exactly, exactly. Like people <laughs> writing papers for school, like you can use AI now to write yeah. your papers. And this, you know what I'm you, saying? You you put a paragraph in there, and you put a paragraph of pretty much what you wanted to say, and man, it'll man. give you four or five different Bro, variations man. of your one little paragraph of like five sentences, and it'll give you three, four paragraphs off of your yeah. five sentences I'm, you put I'm, up there. That's what I'm currently digging into now, AI <laughs> man, because it's, it's it's just so much, it's so layered, it's so much yeah. you get into with it. That's why we got, well, we create the cool. We we know we definitely. Need, you know what I'm saying. So we need to we need to be in that space. While these guys in these in these rooms, how these conversations, how these and they building, we need to be there. Yeah, you know, and you know that's the even um what's the um I don't remember the name of the app. Mm -hmm. About two weeks ago, everybody was doing the pitches. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, what is it called? Uh, I got it on my phone. It's, it's a couple of different ones. But oh, yeah, they got you too. You you did it? No, I, I was already. My, oh, you was already, was already on it. Yeah, we was already doing it. Cause like <laughs> you can do it for like profile pictures and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, and uh, that's what most promoting. people was doing, you know. Yeah. But it's it's so crazy how like you could they were turning you into anything. They were turning yeah. themselves into Greek god. Like it's fire though, bro. Two seconds. That's what you put on your on your wall in your house. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's artwork. Like people don't yeah. another thing about art too is that it is is information. Like you it's, it's like when you see stuff, it's like you downloading it. Mm -hmm. Right? So so like it, like my house, I want a lot of stuff around me to be purposeful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It has to have a meaning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what art is. So imagine you can make your own art and, and put it up in the big picture and put it in your house how you want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just so many different things you can do with AI, man. It's just it's yeah. fire. And this and this shit just the beginning. I mean, though, if you look at it, even to down to like McDonald's, mm -hmm. like I see people say like, "Ain't no cashiers no more." You go there, or even if you go to Wawa, oh man, it's kiosks. Yeah, everything is kiosks. And, and you know, I, I, that, that's bad because people want people people interaction. You don't want to yeah. talk to a robot. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if something go wrong, how the fuck the robot gonna fix it exactly. for you? Exactly. You can't cuss nobody out. You cuss a robot out. Like, yeah. Nah. Well, if you call, you call for emergency for something. Your your fucking ceiling leaking. You gotta yeah. you gotta go through a hundred prompts yeah. to talk to a damn. Hey, maybe I can help you. Yeah. What can you talk yeah, into yeah. the? And you like, look, man, representative, yeah. representative. Exactly. You know, sometimes they, they, they go to the extreme with trying to use everything for a substitute. Yeah. We need human interaction out here, man. And that's it. And humans that. I, that I can actually understand too. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Cause you, you, they go to India because it's cheaper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And they <laughs> willing to just do it. They willing yeah. to work. You know what I'm saying. But it's at the same time, it's like, bro, they, it's 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 a it's a barrier there. Like, yeah, yeah. they speak English, but I like I, they can barely understand what I'm saying accent wise, and I can't Wasting understand what they saying. So it's wasting a lot of time. Yeah. And it's to the point I hang up. Frustrated. And call. Frustrated. <laughs> I hang up and call back. Hope I get somebody else. You know what I'm saying. It's like frustrated like shit. <laughs> Cause I need help with this issue. Yeah, but yeah. So I mean, AI is is definitely like yeah, tech. Tech is not, tech is not going where it's going. To be. 
even crypto is tech. All that's yeah. it's revolutionary, man. You got decentralized financial institutions, like you got NFTs, like you, yeah. you have so much that you can do in this space, like of tech technology, like yeah. So let's uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and let's tap into that. So mm-hmm. crypto, mm-hmm. I see you've been you've been talking about crypto a yeah. lot, like. I kind of noticed you talking about it right before it started, yeah. like becoming a popular thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you know, like I said, I didn't like crypto at first, so it took me a while to really come out and speak positive on it. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, but I knew that crypto was gonna be the future. Yeah. So like, like I said, gold and silver, it's heavy. You know what I'm saying? Put holes in your pocket. You know, it's, it can't be taxed. Yeah. You know, it's physical. It can't be traded digitally. You know what I mean? So. I knew the government wasn't going to be able to work with gold and silver as, you know, yeah. being the, the, the modern day money. It's too so, heavy. You can't even, ca- you can't carry a million dollars worth of gold with you. Right, right, right. Well, if the dollar keep down like this shit, it ain't, ain't going to take much gold to be a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. Because, you know, <laughs> when, the dollar, when the dollar devalues, you know, the price of gold goes up. Yeah. So, but yeah, but crypto, man, is digitized. Like everything is digital and that's what they want. Like you know what I'm saying? Like look 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 how many many times we got cash in our pocket. Yeah. You bring you bring our cash at a store now they look at you, look at you like crazy. You holding the line up. You, you got <laughs> cash. Oh, you ain't got no card. Like coin you know shortage. I mean? Like yeah. now nah, I can't. Oh man. Yeah. It's like you know. Yeah. It's it's all. Look, them people got some stuff going on. But <laughs> digital make more sense. Like in the way that we're moving. So mm-hmm. now, what I like about crypto, man, is that you know I had to really like look into the store. So this came out after the 08, 09 crisis happened when I said banks was days away from going bankrupt. This guy with the alias name, Satake Nakamoto, mm-hmm. he came up with Bitcoin, right? And Bitcoin was going to be decentralized, meaning it's not controlled by nobody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It runs on its own. You know what I mean? So you can't be racist like Wells Fargo is to black people when they're trying to buy houses. Yeah. You know, they got lawsuits for that. And, you know and, what I'm saying? And cutting down their loans. Exactly. And, and and I got the same credit score as this white person, but, yeah. you know, because I'm black. Or oh, a better one. Yeah, I, I got a high I got <laughs> yeah. a high interest rate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this happens all the time with banking. So that's why black people should really be taking this crypto thing yeah. seriously because it puts us on level playing field. Nobody knows who you are in crypto space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got like a 42 character uh, 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 number that, that, that represents you and, and your wallet. So nobody knows who you are unless you give them your wallet. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? But... That's that's the type of space that we need to be in, man. Because like I said, it puts us on level of playing field, and we never had that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, basically what's been happening, like we've been seeing greed in the crypto market. Mm-hmm. Like we've seen a lot of a lot of fates come out. You know, they just wasn't like even with the FTX situation, the three arrows, they was just being too greedy. They yeah. just thought cryptocurrency was going to keep going through the roof. You know what I'm saying? And and they didn't plan on the downside of it. So you know. When when the, this bear market happened, you know, a bear market is basically when the market's going down. Bull market's when the market's going up. All right. So when this bear market happened, market going down, mm-hmm. um, a lot of them didn't have uh, a plan or you know the capital. The capital was drying up. Yeah. And so a lot of their little rinky-dink tactics that they had, they couldn't fulfill. So it caused a lot of bankruptcies. You know what I'm saying? And FTX, that was just a scam. Yeah. You know, Sam Bankman Freud, he was full of it. But see, if you understand. The, the whole purpose of crypto, you would have known not to be on an exchange anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? An exchange is a place you go to purchase crypto, but you don't have to leave it there. You can put it in your own wallet, right? So in crypto, you want to put those your, your, your money in your own decentralized wallet, like a MetaMask. Yeah. MetaMask, you can look it up. It's a decentralized wallet where you own it. So say if I say what's in my buy on Coinbase. Mm-hmm. I can transfer my crypto to MetaMask. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And Coinbase now has a wallet now. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's kind of like yeah. side eye because they got exchanged yeah. too. But so with the wallets, um, do you you recommend like your own personal physical wallet that you can like carry around like a wallet, nah. or do you just so, recommend the digital wallet like you said that comes with like Coinbase? So you got or, cold storage wallets, and you, and you got like so it's, it's a different type of wallets. So just don't forget your password. Well, yeah, you forget your password. Like the Bitcoin it's, dude, it's he oh, had like dollars? almost a billion Clizzy. dollars in Bitcoin. Clizzy, how how do you do that? <laughs> Clizzy. Um, but yeah, so yeah, uh, a cold storage wallet is one that you buy like like a junk drive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the more rec- recommended one. Uh, MetaMask they, they give you one that's that's kind of still online. Okay, you know what I'm saying uh, cold storage meaning it's offline. So, yeah. So can't nobody hack you while you got the you know the junk drive. But if you fuck it up, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. But if you get the password, I mean, yeah, you're done. You know, but you know that's 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 something like I think to worry about like yeah. the password. Like I tell people, you're supposed to write that stuff down on paper and like yeah. 
put it somewhere in a safe or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, always have, always have your key phrases. So what happens is you get these phrases when you get these wallets, right? Mm -hmm. People will hear these terms all the time in crypto. Not your keys, not your coin. That yeah. means if you don't get no keys to your wallet, you don't you don't have a wallet. Okay. These coins don't belong to you. Yeah. So in exchange, they let you buy and hold crypto on their exchange, but you don't have no wallet there. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So uh, when you get a wallet, they kind of like you, a bank. Yeah. Like oh, a crypto bank, oh, kind of. For sure. Kind of like the the, no, the it, concept it, of what a bank is. It's, okay. It, it's centralized too. Okay. And that's outside of the purpose of Bitcoin. Okay. So why even have those? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Gotta, for you gotta, sure. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, it's it's good to onload and offload, mm -hmm. like bank wise, like because you don't want to put your card on these different websites and crypto. You yeah. Know what I mean, so some people like to go with trusted ones. You know, I like Coinbase. Coinbase ain't let me down yet. Yeah. You know, and now they just got backed by. Uh, BlackRock, which is one of the largest financial institutions in the world. Yeah. Because Coinbase was in trouble at first, too. I was yeah, I remember. Sounds about that. Yeah, so <laughs> when BlackRock got behind them, that kind of opened up their they money floodgates, so they, they end up being all right. But, you know, it's still to be mindful of them. You know, that's an exchange. So you got to make sure you have your, your key phrases and you hide them away, and that's how you know you got your, your real wallet. Okay. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all got that gym, like y'all know, y'all know the difference now. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying. He giving y'all, yeah, he giving y'all the gems. Look, man, I'm, 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 I'm a comment away, man. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, I like, I like, I like to give our people the game, man. Cause like, I don't want. Uh, this is why I do this, bro. A lot of people are like, they probably looking like I'm crazy. Like, why I'm giving out all this free information? Like, yeah. you know, it's just I want us to not to be last, bro. Like, I seen this coming years ago. Yeah. I don't want us to be the last to the race. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we're in the middle of a wealth transfer where people can get some real. Life changing money, like everything's about to be on. You don't have to have a lot of money right now to to, to make a lot right now. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? You just got to put it in the right places in order to prepare. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the people out here that that got fortunes off crypto, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about fortunes. Like ain't nobody doing it in the stock market. And that's another thing too. I like to point out is like people always want to ask what's the latest stock to buy. Nah, you need to be asking that about crypto. Yeah. What's the latest coin to buy? Because they doing they doing numbers in stocks. Yeah. Backflip cartwheels. Yeah. You know what I mean? As far as buying stocks, buying stocks is easy. What do you go buy every day? If exactly. you buy Nike every day, go buy a fucking Nike stock. If yeah. you if you love Apple, go buy. Like that the, as far as buying stocks, I mean of course you gotta do your research. Let yeah. me not say that, you know, but always do your research. You know, but question everything. When you thinking about buying stocks, buy stocks on stuff that you use every day. Yeah. Or stuff that you know is going to I just be think around. stocks is I think I with crypto around, like stocks can't, yeah. they can't they can't hold a job strap. Yeah. So that's my so Bitcoin right now is up to almost twenty one thousand in in the last week. Yeah, like you have twenty excuse me two hundred billion dollars poured into crypto market just this week alone. Yeah, like Bitcoin only moves the slowest in percentages, and like normally after Bitcoin goes up, all the alternative altcoins is any coin other than Bitcoin. Yeah, all right. So like Ethereum, Ethereum, yeah, you know, Solana, XRP, Cardano. You know what I'm saying? And all these different coins does something. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like People gotta do their research on what they like, man. Like, like, like you said, like what you like as far as shoes wise. People gotta figure out what they like in crypto yeah. that does something for the people. Like, you know what I'm saying? That does something that's missing in the crypto space. Yeah, because Cause, it's still an early stage. Yeah, because I seen something about um, they they're trying to find a way to have VC, you know, like venture uh, capitalists. No, virtual currency, like virtual video currency. game, video game currency. Yeah, like, Roblox. They, they have a way. They're, they're trying to figure out a way to. Get that from out of the video game into the crypto, crypto space crypto, too. Yeah. So yeah. like if you got however much VC on 2K, mm -hmm. you can somehow transfer it to I don't know how they're gonna do it, but yeah. I'm, they gonna be working on that. Yeah. I mean, man, but you gotta think how much money, not to cut you off, but yeah. you gotta think even with the VC and all that, like mm -hmm. like you said, Roblox, how much money is parents giving their kids to buy Roblox money. Bro, I just had talked to my son last night. I just gave him $50 two weeks ago for Roblox, and it's gone already. I said, yeah. what did you buy? He was like, Roblox stuff? I'm like, no, I said, this should be criminal. Like, they, yeah. are, they are attacking our kids <laughs> on these games. Like, they they, like, they, they not playing yeah, you fair. You get $50, you get, I don't know what the exact amounts, but you get like 50,000 Roblox coins and shit like Man. that. But you but you buying shit that you would buy in the real world, but for I, your Roblox person or for your VC. I told he was a pluck. I said, you know what the pluck is? <laughs> I had to introduce him. Look, you are a pluck. You need, to, you need to reverse seats right now. Fact. Think business side. That's what I do. Yeah. I, I was about to bring him in here. You know what I mean? I'm going to bring him on to the next one, man. But For sure. You got to teach him early, man. Yeah, you we, we definitely going to do this. You, you you a friend of the shit now. Man, so we this, on, this, this this is part one. Yeah, this is only oh, part man. one. So, um, nah, definitely like, yo, so with all that, like, 
And they and they really go crazy over it. Yeah. Like that new skin come out or the new whatever come out. That I gotta get this Spider Man yeah, thing on. Like, he, he, he was trying to tell me some stuff last night. I'm just like, I don't get it. <laughs> like you it, gotta show me. So now, like this weekend, I'm, I'm gonna sit down with him. I'm gonna see what he's talking. Just about. watch him play. Just watch yeah. him. Okay, this is how they moving. You know, that, you gotta learn, man. Like, I, I'm never, bro. I'm never too old to earn. To earn. Like that's what I tell nah. you too. I don't care if you graduate with your, your doctor's degree, your master's degree. Bro, you supposed to be learning every day. Like yeah. just because school start, I mean you start learning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. There's you people be a in their 60s right now in college. Yeah, right now. Yeah, <laughs> like in class while we doing this. Yeah, they on Saturday class doing fucking school right now. So yeah. no, like yeah, information you you never too old to learn. Oh, I tell I told my boy that's a listen, man. and I ain't I ain't too uh, old to get it from somebody younger than me either. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Because your shopping still a fat is a fact. It don't matter what the so, what the source Ooh. is. Like Talk it don't matter me. what the source is. Talk to me. So, so while we on this, I definitely got to ask you. Um, yeah. What is your thoughts on this on the metaverse? Metaverse. How uh, you feel about the metaverse? Man, they they don't pump their brakes on the metaverse, man. I mean, I, I think we still going. I mean, I think I think metaverse is gonna be different, man. Like we, I gotta go back to this, the real ones, you know, having a voice again, man, because. It's, it's, it's so much fakeness going on out here. Yeah. It's like, fakeness is at an all-time high. And people are so lost. Like, some people are not mentally strong. And social media is mm-hmm. is really hindering them. Yeah. So can you imagine what the metaverse would do? Like, bro, I'm talking about like... Because it ain't typing no more. You actually is, hearing somebody man, tell you, 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 shut the you, fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You in like, there. You, you was in virtual reality. Like, you, yeah. you, you can actually, like, feel the vibration of something. Yeah. Like, it's it's, it's going to be so different. Concerts in the metaverse. Yeah. Like... Like just being able to talk to somebody, I think it's gonna be bittersweet. See, it's like social media. You can't follow a bunch of people that, that you don't like. Energy, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. They all ratchet or they just woo woo, and you don't like that. It's not gonna be good if you follow like a bunch of conscious pages, a bunch of informational pages, a bunch yeah. of investing pages, like organic mm-hmm. money. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, for sure. Like it's it's a different vibe. You know what I mean? So I think the metaverse is what you're gonna make it because. I'm gonna tap into what I, I'm already tapped into. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I, I think it's a double edged sword, but I think our kids like we gotta teach them. Like it, it should be a course on that too, because I think so many people can get lost, man. You seen a game ready to play a, play a three? Yeah. When, when the boy was 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 the man in the, in the metaverse. Yeah. But he was in a damn junkyard in real life. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, people walk past him on the street. He's like, hey, dirt ball, man. Yeah, in, like in, in a junkyard. You got a, yeah. got a whole. It's, it's crazy. So I, I just, I think it's a double edged sword. I just think we just gotta use it for its benefit, and, and, and you know, that's down for. Yeah. But yeah. I think it's, I, I'm looking forward to it. You know. Yeah. I mean, I definitely, I've been playing with the Oculus since like, well, it ain't the Oculus no more, but yeah. since it was Oculus, and I think I got was the first Quest, one in Quest Two. Yeah. So I got the first one when um, it came. They came with the Samsung phones in like 2015. Oh, the one you put on the eyes. You put yeah, the phone yeah, in there. Yeah, you put your, that. you download the app. You yeah. put your phone in the goggles. I still got it and everything. But, and like, to see where it came to the point, it, it went from that to you have to have a computer. You plug it into the USB port and whoop. But now it's a, it's a standalone thing. To the, it's to the point now where the next one that they say gonna come out with is just gonna be like glasses where they can intertwine with real life. So like we in this room and we can have the the, the headset on but we and it world. can be somebody in fucking China sitting on the couch next to you in this room. But that's they crazy. but they on the headset though. You know what I'm saying? So they can so, tap yeah. into this room and it's just like, yeah, yo, that's that shit is thing, crazy. Uh, you, you can tap in with guys like this is what I learned at school too, man. Like I think the biggest thing I got out of college was was like uh networking. Mm-hmm. Right? So imagine like it's, it's so many people I met. I, I thought it was from Camelot, bro. I was like, yeah. well, y'all. Y'all yeah, should be out front. Like, it's like they got to listen to the same songs, wear the same tight clothes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got the same uh, background. Like, it, it's just different. So imagine having that with people around the world. Yeah. Like, bro, I think traveling is important because you learn about the cultures while you're there. You learn about different foods. Definitely. You learn about why they do things they do. And that just opens your mind up to thinking. That's yeah. why I think traveling is important. So imagine doing this virtually. Like, you still yeah. getting that same. It's, it's, I uh, think it's an like you- eye opener. The more you travel, because you know, I ain't as traveled as you, but I done been around. And you realize we all different, but we all so fucking similar. Same. It don't matter where you go, Costa Rica, uh, fucking somewhere in Africa, like the high artists. I'm a domestic traveler. I'm about about to get my non domestic travel on. Yeah. I'm a domestic traveler. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready, man. I'm I'm, I'm back at it this year. I'm about to go next month. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm back at it. I, I love it, man. It's just those culture shocks is just. 
it, it comes to the point where the culture shock ain't a shocking no more. Yeah. It's like you kind of look forward to it now. But when you start seeing the differences in how people just do little certain stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, here, yeah. um, you know, we fucking... Who that am I doing? Like, why you ain't call for you can't? Yeah, like, yeah. damn, you popping up over here? Yeah, like, you don't know what I got going on. But in yeah. other countries, it's like, oh, you're here? Yeah. Drop what they doing. Yeah. I'm going to go cook. Like, yeah. I'm so happy to... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... It's just different. It's differences in the culture, man. It is. It is. And then it's the same because, like, it's the similarities because, like, we all human mm -hmm. and we all connect in 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 certain ways. Like, yeah. it's certain shit that they do that we still do. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I agree. It's, I agree, man. It's it's definitely um, nah, traveling for the people who can afford it, do it. Yeah. Don't 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 hinder yourself. I mean, you can always put money to the side, man. Like, yeah. have a traveling traveling stash that you go into. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like plan on it. Like, that's that's one thing that I, I want to tell the young kids too, man. It's like I'm most I'm most productive when I make my to do list. Yeah. So always plan, man. Like you got to plan for success. Like you know what I'm saying. Write your goals out five years, ten years. Like yeah. all that stuff work when you write it down. Well, let's say write it down and I follow through. Like write it down, man. It, it, it does something different. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So physically write it. Yeah. Like, see, I got, oh, I got right. my, I got my investment joint there, and then yeah. the black one. That's my planner. Like, oh, I got, I, I gotta fire. physically write it. Like, that's fire. Looking at it in my phone, that's yeah. good for the notifications. Yeah. Like, alright you got something coming up, it yeah, notified me. Physical, but man. I look up and I look at that shit every day. Like, alright boom, boom, boom. Ideas. I yeah. go in the book. I do the bubbles in the book. My ideas. Yeah. Bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, with my goal, I do a gold tree. So mm. what a gold tree is is like I write my goal down, and then I write down what steps I feel I need to take to accomplish each goal. That's fine. So it's like a goal tree. So you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you write the big goal out, then you write the steps to get into it. Yeah. So like, you know what I mean? So I know where to start. Yeah. I know what I'm doing, and I know, I know where, I'm gonna, where, where my ultimate destination is. Ooh, so fine. with every goal I have, I got a goal tree. Mm. Even if it's damn, I need groceries, all right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I need to do this, I need to do that. Or, all right, I'm trying to get this media company off the ground. What do I need to do? I need to get this for the media company. Uh -huh. I need to get that. I need to do, 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 do. And you got to check all the boxes. Once you check all the boxes, you like, oh, shit. I'm here. I'm done. I'm arrived. Damn. <laughs> Let's go. Now, all I got to do is just start doing what the fuck I'm, I started the company for. So it's just, Man. but that can be with anything. So once you write the goal down, like, and I had to learn that myself. Because yeah. a lot of people, I was always that. Results, results, results. Yeah. I had a homegirl that used to tell me, like, yo, enjoy the small victories. Like, you got to. Even to this day, I still don't dwell on it because yeah. sometimes I still get in that mentality that, like, now I'm supposed to, I was supposed to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, without the small shit, the big shit can't We can't, can't be too happen. hard on ourselves, man. Yeah. We, we got to pat ourselves on the back sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't always be hard on ourselves, man. I'm my biggest critic, man. That's my oh, biggest, yeah. that's my biggest problem. I'm yeah. my biggest critic. No, I'm saying. I'm so. mine too. I, I agree. <laughs> That's my, I, I, ain't nobody gonna be hard on me now. I am myself. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like, like, ain't nothing you can say to me that I probably <laughs> haven't said worse to myself when it comes to Facts. where I should be. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So. Facts, man. No, nah, but that definitely that definitely makes a difference. Like when you when you look at it, like for people who, you know, if you don't know where to start, start a um. Uh, vision board. I couldn't vision get board, it out. Yeah, vision board, yeah. Yeah. Vision board stuff that, like man, that, man. Is, emails, yeah. man. Listen, yeah, we need to do our own vision boards. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The fellas need to start hiring book clubs, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Read Rich Dad Poor Dad, everybody get together or yeah. read Rich Man in Babylon, three magic words come together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and we I ain't need to gonna... have them conversations because what it's do is provoke, it's thought provoking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's conversation pieces that it can help you get going. Yeah. You know? So bring the mic a little closer. Yeah. Just a little bit. You good yeah, right there. Yeah. So um, yeah, with that, like, so and I even feel like if you start like a book club, yeah, it'll hold you more accountable. Cause it's yeah. like, all right, we reading these three chapters it's this hard. week. And this like, oh shit, we got the motherfucking meeting tonight. I only read a chapter. <laughs> like, they gonna be on my neck when yeah, we get in the joint. Yeah. Cause they gonna be talking about two and three, and I only read chapter one. So it's gonna be like, bro, what you been doing? Accountability. But I guarantee the next time, the next meeting, you yeah. probably might be three chapters ahead. Like, uh -huh. yo, all right, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get me twice. Still shopping still, man. So it's just, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like- Yeah, find your tribe though, man. You know what I mean? I, I think that's another rough part that people got to go through. You know, a lot, of, a lot of old friends might not be the ones that's uh, necessary for them at the time when they're yeah. trying to change something, you know? Uh, so I think that's a tough part, but- you know, you gotta just find your tribe, man. Yeah, I mean, and, and there's nothing wrong with having different friendship groups. 
Yeah. Like you can have a different group of friends for different things. Well, we got so many rules that we like, we yeah. abide by this bullshit. Like, like no new friends. Why not? Yeah. Like, bro, if, if you're the smartest person in the group, you gotta change that group. Yeah, that's that's not you the group that you want to like, be in. You, know like, <laughs> like, you can't be the sharpest tool in nah, the shed, I, baby. If, yeah, if you're the smartest person in the room, you in the wrong room. I'm gonna get dull soon. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I can't get cutting everything. Cause it's, it's it's a cliche quote, but I'm gonna quote it. Like, yeah. if 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 you around six. Millionaires, you gonna be the seventh one. Yeah. If you around six motherfuckers going yeah. nowhere, you gonna be the seventh one. Yeah. It ain't, so. it ain't about dick riding, man. It's about if that person is, is on a trajectory, what you're trying to reach, or you already got there. Mm -hmm. Why not? Look, man. What can I help you with? You no, know I mean, I just yeah. want to learn from you. Like, boy, woo, woo. Yeah. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. That's you it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, everybody, everybody, what do they say? Everybody, it's okay to be used, but not misused. You That's know it. What I'm saying. So like, you know. You can't change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. For well, sure you can. So pick your friends. That's it. Like you literally pick your friends. Yeah. Like you don't have to be around people who detrimental to your life. Facts. So at that point, if you still doing that, then it's it's a choice at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, so exactly. I don't know, man. It's it's just we just need to change the conversations. That's it. The conversations that we have in our communities, man. That's it. Yeah. I think once we start changing those conversations, because most people like most dudes don't want to go to the hood and bring up certain shit because they feel yeah. like niggas going to clown them. Like, man, nobody want to hear that shit. But yeah. you keep talking about it enough, you're going to spark. you going to start sparking brains. Yeah. Um, I'm just talking about just just for them. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't saying to just only go to the hood and try to get that. Of course, you know, still be around people that's on that wavelength. Yeah. But, you know, the people in the hood, like, you never know oh, who yeah. brain you might spark. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my whole thing is giving back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I want to get back to, to the le to, to the less fortunate or, or For the ones sure. who ain't really got that shot. You yeah, know definitely. Saying? Give hope to the hopeless. Yeah. That's always a go. So, mm. definitely. All right, so um, into this last joint. So, we was talking about stocks and crypto. So, what do you, so stocks versus crypto. Mm. Like, you touched on it a little bit, but I feel like you can probably expand a little bit more. Like, mm. So as far as because a lot of people still swear by stocks, like there's some yeah. people who still like nah crypto, it's it's cool, but it is you All know right. stocks so, is still this the stock market is yeah, never going nowhere. You gotta understand this, like th this is another scam they got. Like everybody's for everybody's retirement plan is invested in the stock market. Yeah, whether we want to or not. Like a lot of us don't know where the hell our money is invested in. Yeah, we can be invested in private black on black prisons of all we know. Yeah, you know what for I'm sure. saying? Like so. That's that's the reason why um, a lot of them try to like invest in the stock market because a lot of their fortunes are already in the stock. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it would be beneficial to them for le to learn new stocks to buy with the money that they're already being matched from their company or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of makes sense. Crypto using your own money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you, I mean, now they're starting to open some uh, different uh, financial vehicles to mm -hmm. where you can use some of your retirement money in it. But like I said, the massive crypto action is still taking place. Like, so uh, you got you got Visa that's now uh, mm -hmm. uh, dealing with uh, crypto. You got Mastercard. You mm -hmm. got you got PayPal. You know, which opened up a, a, a huge uh, source for a lot of people to use crypto. Yeah. So I mean, the massive adoption is still taking place. So I just think the stock price and the percentages don't go up. Like, if they made ten to twelve percent, that's supposed to be good. Yeah. Well, you made that in a day in crypto. Like, okay. you're not getting rich overnight off a of stock. Like, yeah. And, and I don't even going to say overnight. In the next five years off a of stock. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can get that in, in five years in crypto, you can be very rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, like crypto has made the average Joe millionaires. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we've seen it. Hey, come on, like yeah, we've I, seen I, it. I know more people that the that crypto got rich opposed to, to the stock market. You know what I mean? So I just think the stock market is is basically is it's, it's becoming outdated in comparison to crypto. Yeah. Because it's a vehicle that's 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 moving at a much faster rate, uh, as far as percentage wise and profit wise and speed. Yeah. Because stock market pretty much relies on companies to succeed. Yeah. And look look what we're in right now. You know what I mean? Our economy, bro. Like, see, this, this is the thing I want to talk about too. Is like before the pandemic happened, right? Our economy in 2020 was scheduled to go in the recession. Mm -hmm. Now we're back to that same recessionary period again. No more money. Uh, the Fed, all right, the Federal Reserve Bank is a private-owned bank. They're the mm -hmm. one that basically prints the money. Yeah. Right? The Fed 
stopped print. They was printing up the hundred twenty billion dollars a month on top of giving out free money to people uh, during the pandemic, mm-hmm. right? So like, 80, oh, 40 to eighty percent of money in circulation was created during those two years. Yeah, that's insane. All right, so. Uh, when when it comes to the Federal Reserve Bank, they had stopped. They was printing up 120 billion a month. They had they had stopped and ended at 30 billion in in in, in March of 2022. Mm-hmm. That's why we had such a bad year, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they 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 stopped prepping on the economy. When the Federal Reserve uh, a bank print out money, they inflate the stock market. So that's why we had such a roller coaster ride in, in yeah. all markets. You know what I mean? And then you had the Federal Reserve Bank increase interest rates seven times last year to try to combat inflation. You know what I'm saying? The truth of the matter, they can't combat inflation. They're trying to say inflation is going down. It's not. Yeah. It's not, bro. Like they even they finagle the numbers so much. You know what I'm saying? Like it's saying the CPI has, has decreased uh 6.5 percent, but it's they finagle the numbers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our inflation is really double digits. Definitely. Cause I mean, yeah. even if you look at like um home buying, um, the real estate market right now, yeah. which we're gonna tap into that a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. you get into the real estate market, like interest rates is like like seven, eight percent. Seven, yeah. Now to people who don't know, they like seven percent. But seven percent of three hundred thousand is a lot so, of fucking right, money. Let's just go off of this. <laughs> so the average, the the medium house in the United States is four hundred twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Four hundred say four hundred thousand. So if you you if you having like a seven seven percent mortgage, you're paying like three thousand dollars. Yeah. A month. That's just interest. A month. That's 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 your that's your monthly payment for the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's insane, bro. Like, like oh, I'm insane. thinking I'm thinking down payment interest. I'm thinking I'm tripping. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking payment. about like because oh, no. you know it's like thirty percent. You got to put like seven percent down payment and all that. So it's like they got some programs out like there. ten grand. Yeah, they got some programs out, out of there pocket to where you don't have to uh, put down as much. Yeah. Uh, you got to look into those, but they got some programs where you don't have to put down as much. But yeah, yeah. You, you but got, those interest rates mean a lot. Down. Like that's the difference between having a twelve hundred dollar mortgage and a, a nineteen hundred dollar mortgage yeah. for the same priced house. That interest yeah. rate, that interest, interest rate. rate means a lot. And interest rate makes debt more expensive. Yeah. So if you're buying a house, a house is debt, right? Mm-hmm. So if interest rates go up, that means your monthly payments go up, right? So. That's basically what that boils down to, man. Yeah. And that's, that made it hard for a lot of people, man. And how the market is 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 about to we about to see what's gonna happen this year. I think we're gonna have some yeah. uh, some some turmoil come up. You yeah. know what I mean? Because nobody like in the in the last year, um, they started reducing uh, the amount of people that was buying because they just, they just reached the point where, like you know what I'm not buying a house yeah. anymore because this is this is ridiculous. Like, yeah, it's a seller's market. How in the world the the price of the house going up and interest rates going up? Yeah, it don't make sense. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm so and it's like you know, and then the 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 price of the house going up, but equity not, right? Which is, you know, in some yeah. cases, you know, but for the most part, it's not because the the value ain't going. So you know, if the value is decreasing with the int- with the rate of the house going up, equity can't go up because it's not worth. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and that's you know we can see a reverse happening that because you know with the housing market, you know we're gonna see what happened this year, man. But it's 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 some it's some it's a. It's a bleak picture coming out <laughs> yeah. for the for the for the housing market, man. I mean, I think I think it reaches its tipping point where people to where they're just saying enough is enough. Yeah. You're not gonna continue to purchase houses at this price and this interest rate. Something yeah. gotta give. And I think um so do you feel like um because I know a lot of people were saying that they feel like the Airbnb market kind of fucked that up too. Like, do you feel like mm-hmm. that really had played a part in um No man? They 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 messed the market up themselves. Inflation the, the, the mortgage-backed security. You got the Federal Reserve Bank, man, okay? They printed out too much cash, right? Mm-hmm. That made these ridiculous price amounts for these houses become more affordable. Yeah. Because they had so much money in circulation. Yeah. Right? Just like, like I told you about with the pandemic money. Like, all that money in circulation made people be able to spend uh, by more expensive price tag things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the price of shoes went up. Every, everything went up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shoes at record high. Like, like come on, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, gasoline at record highs, eggs at record highs. Yeah. Like, inflation is at forty years <laughs> high. This thing is ridiculous. Like, you know, what yeah. I mean, something got to give. You know, so we're now just seeing the results and the symptoms of a dying dollar. Right? That's why I've been trying to tell people this whole time. Like, our dollar is dying now. People are actually seeing it and yeah. feeling it. You know what I'm saying? That's why. I mean, you need more than most people just got their day job and that's it. Maybe a side hustle, but you need at least yeah. four to five streams of revenue for sure. Coming in, 
Yo, we that's why you gotta tap in with self, man. You got you gotta build your own, man. You know, a nine to five ain't gonna cut it no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a I I don't care how good your job is. Definitely. They they had a report that come out that said even Americans that make six figures, fifty percent of them was working for check to check. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it, it ain't about the money no more because I mean it is about the money because inflation is so much of a problem. Yeah. You know, it's, it's wrecking havoc on everyone and everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like the the middle class is disappearing for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's because inflation. Yeah. A dollar and dollar. And if you know America ain't ain't no deflation. Like they not going <laughs> they not going to go back. They, you know, when shit go down, they're not going You know what I think they going to do? So so if they don't do anything, if they keep if, All right, so right now the Federal Reserve Bank is keep saying they're going to still uh stay on this trajectory and increase interest rates. <laughs> Our next rate hike is supposed to be in March of this year. Mhm. Um the FOMC meeting. Um uh, so that's supposed to be the first time supposed to increase, in, increase interest rates. Mm -hmm. They're saying it's supposed to be another 75 basis points, which is almost a half a percent, you know, I mean, three quarters of a percent. Mm -hmm. um, what that's going to do is cause more hurt to the U.S. economy because everybody's credit card, everybody's car loan, everybody's house loan, every, every debt you have is going to increase. Yeah. And it, we are already hurting. So, you know what I mean? It's all, only going to add insult to injury. Yeah. Or what they can do is they can find another way to print out money like they did during the pandemic. You know what I mean? And I think they're going to try to find out and do that some way, somehow, give out universal income. If you look in the beginning of, like, October last year, a uh, new fiscal year, they gave out, like, $250 ref uh, checks to people. Yeah. I think they was trying to use that to help kind of, like, jumpstart the economy back and spur the economy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they like... But the thing is, you know, like you said, they if they, they throwing money out... Yeah. But that's just decreasing the value of what it is. It so is. if they do throw the checks out, that's why shit went up. So they they threw her, they, they threw everything out. Everybody was getting that pandemic money. They was getting everybody them motherfucking stimulus fix. checks and everything. And short term fix. Shit was great for the point, but then they was like, "Fuck, yeah. all right, we got it. We got to raise shit now." Yeah. But now you know that money came and went because most people yeah. either put it towards the rent or they made the person that owned Louis Vuitton, Hennessy, oh, and all yeah. of that. They got, made got him all, 10 all times rich. richer. They got all so, them. All but you, it's the same dude. He owned <laughs> Louis Vuitton, Hennessy. Yeah. He owned like 28 of the top, uh, the top fucking fashion what? and luxury brands. Yeah, what is it called? It's called... Uh, mm. LV... LVMH. Yeah, LVMH. Yeah, yeah LVMH. Yeah. And he yeah. literally owns all the shit that black people go... Fuck with on a day to day luxury making wise. Them, making them filthy rich. Louis Vuitton, Fenty, uh, Hennessy. He yeah. owns some of uh, Jay Z shit now. Like, yeah. uh, do it. Like, you know, it's they they own if if it's a luxury brand and you like it and you black, he owns that shit. Yeah, he's the second richest man in the world, it's and he bad. wasn't before the pandemic. Like, he had some bread. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong, but we made him. We put him number two behind Jeff Bezos. It's insane, man. I mean, we got to learn from our mistakes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you you can't keep going to the club and you broke and you, and you get tired you tired of being broke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yo, that section, and I don't want to, I, you know, I don't want to sound like that person, but, you know, that four hundred dollar section, you know how much, how much, how much, whatever you can invest with four hundred. It might not sound like a lot to somebody. You put but that four hundred towards Bitcoin, you could have had a twenty percent increase already. You could yeah. have took your property you want to, or put it to the side, did what you want to do with it. You Take your four hundred back out, leave the rest there, right, and let that shit keep going up. That's another good thing you just raised, having a plan. Yeah, when you invest, always have a plan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like when you get to a certain point, you want to sell by at this point. Yeah, always have a plan. So, and that's it. I mean, people just got to have a plan. Damn. Like, yeah, yeah. I was just plan. pick it back off that. Hey, people just got to have hey, a plan. This is my thing, and too. execute it. This is Stay one of my things, too. If you don't plan, you plan for failure. Yeah. I tell my boys that all the time. Like, What's that shit they used to tell us in school? Uh, proper preparation presents uh, poor performance or some shit see, like I, that? I messed it up because I, <laughs> That's you know, it, right? <laughs> Sigmas do it different. It's 12 Ps. Piss poor practice promotes piss poor performance. Piss poor performance promotes pain. Okay. It's called 12 Ps. I cannot say that shit five times fast. Yeah, but. No, no. I, I better say it once. Let me, let me say it like I said. Piss poor practice promotes piss poor performance. Piss poor performance promotes pain. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout out to the boys in blue, man. Blue fire, you know. Yeah. yeah. Not but, them. The other ones. Sigmas, man. Sigmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> The other you know way. Well, yeah, man. It's been dope chopping it up, man. Let Thank everybody you, know bro. where they can find you at. Hey, man. This is Jay with Organic Money. I'm on uh, Instagram at Organic Money. It's organic underscore money. I'm on YouTube at Organic Money. 
uh, TikTok, at Organic Money. Y'all got any questions, comments, concerns, man? Just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no gatekeeper. You know what I'm saying? I try yeah. to, trying to trying to spread the light, spread the love, man. That's it. Each one teach one. We 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 here to build and elevate each other. Health as wealth, man. So, till next time. Peace.